Hi everyone, this is Laura from Prequalt, and in this video I'm going to show you all about the colorway feature, which enables you to create and save lots of different colorways all in one quilt. The benefits of this is you can view all your colorway iterations all in one place by toggling through them, and it also reduces the manual labor of having to recreate a favorite iteration that you might have had. This is a feature for basic and market plan subscribers. So let's dive right in. In this video, I'm going to use the Bloom and Glow Baby Quilt by Heck Yes So Co. And when I click on color this pattern, it's going to open up to the free coloring page. So these coloring pages are free to use when you use them with solids. But since this is a feature that you need to have a subscription for, you're gonna to need to log in first. So I've um, come here to, I've made sure that I'm logged in because my avatar is there. If you want to subscribe, you can click on the login button or go back to the prequel and subscribe and then come back. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is the first thing I'm gonna do is click clone this quilt. And what this is gonna do is it's going to save this quilt to my quilt dashboard in my account. And that way I can always come back to all the variations that I've created. I don't have to start again. So the first thing to do is always a good idea is to click save so that you have the backup of it. You can also notice here that once I've created a clone of it and it's in my account, I now have opened up this colorway feature. And you can see here when I click on, uh, on the down arrow, there, there's the original colorway and there's this option to clone existing colorway. So that's what I'm gonna do here first. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna just name this colorway next. And that's because I don't really know what to name it yet. Um, and so I know that now I'm not going to override the original colorway because I'm on the next colorway here. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, because I don't have a clear idea of what I'd like to do, is I'm going to um, click on randomize colors and see what kind of inspiration is sparked by the use of that. Um, so I really like this um, corsage uh, and maybe I really like this wine color, but maybe not for the background. So I'm gonna go here to manually update fabric link A to wine. So I can see that it's here because it's already outlined and I can click on that, which will make it disappear here almost. So I can just lock that now and continue randomizing to change the background and also change this tile version. I really like this. It reminds me of those beautiful tiles. Um, but now that I have this blue and the light pink, I, I no longer like the wine. It's a little too dark. So I can come in here and manually update it by scrolling over and previewing different options. And I can save that now as one of my colorways by, and I can just rename it now um, that I have more description around it. So now I have the pink as well as the original. And I can see that here, I can click on original colorway to go back to the original. Um, another way to do it too, is you can click on the arrow and that'll toggle between the two options. So I'm gonna go actually and cl click one more, clone existing color away. Again, I can put next here. Um, and because I'm on the next, I'm not going to now override the other ones. And I can use my trusty color randomizer. So now that I have the one that I'd like, I can click on edit and rename them. 
And so now I have three variations of this quilt that I really like. And so I can kind of go through and then, you know, just say, for example, I'm really sold on this pink version. I can go to download image and I'm going to download the information for the, the visible quilt. Um, so I can download this, uh, the image of the quilt top, as well as the fabrics that are being used. And that'll be saved onto my computer, wherever, you know, wherever your files go. Um, and then, you know, I could also always go back to the original um, or to the other one as well and download that information so that I have that as well. And these make really great quilt maps for when you're making the quilt. Um, so you can follow the instructions, but you also have the specific image of what yours is going to look like with the fabrics that you've decided to use. If for any reason you decide you don't want to save all of the colorways, you can always go down to the drop down and delete one. So you, and then you will have the remaining colorways that you have. You can always go and find the quilt again at your quilt dashboard because now it's here. Uh, you can open the quilt and because I didn't save it, I should still have that gold option. Um, so that that one is there. Um, so you can always um, also save and if you want to update it to look to have the one that you're going to be making instead of the original colorway, you can always save and close and update the thumbnail so that when you're at your quilt dashboard, you'll see the version that you intend to make right there. All right, everyone, I hope you like the colorway feature and I encourage you to go and give it a try. Thanks so much. Bye.